Hey guys, Jose, Dr. Mike here, Oak Brook Medical Group. So we're gonna do a quick video for you today, actually treating Jose. So he has his strongman competition coming up tomorrow, um, but he's dealing with a little bit of quad and knee stuff. So we're gonna do a little bit of scraping, cupping, just show you guys, walk you through what we're doing to get him ready for this competition. Go ahead and hop up there, Jose. So Jose's been prepping this thing for a long time now, and unfortunately, right towards the end here, started getting a little clicking in his knee, um, but still going through the competition, still gonna get it done. Yep. So he's dealing with some quad stuff, and then it's running down into that patellar tendon here. So just using a little bit of lotion, we're gonna start with a little bit of scraping right around the inside, top, and bottom of that kneecap. We're gonna find a couple points that are, we'll just call them they stick. We find those points when we see Jose's face cringe a little bit. That's when we know we found the good ones. So whole purpose of this, you know, we do have a whole video on Graston and, um, you know, soft tissue mobilization. So you guys go ahead and check out that video, take a look at it. Here, we're just trying to promote the blood flow, right? We gotta get this fascia loosened up get everything moving and gliding appropriately. That's a good spot right there. Yeah, around there, yeah. Right yeah. There. yeah, you got a nice little bump right there too. So we're just starting with a little movement right here around the kneecap and then we're actually gonna move up into the quadricep. Right there. Mm -hmm. That's the main issue, man. This is it. Found it. Yeah, remember, I'm doing this to help out Jose, but I don't want to push so hard that he gets mad at me because he's a lot bigger than I am. <laughs> All right, so let's put a little bit more lotion up on that quad, and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of a different tool. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna get into this quad a little bit more. So obviously, a little bit bigger tool, get a little more pressure into this. Same thing, we're watching Jose's face here just to see. Okay. Found the good spots. And just let me know. Obviously, we want some pressure, but I don't want too much. So let me know if it's too much there, Jose. How's it feel out here? It feels like tight, tender. Okay. Now you remember for this competition, Jose is doing, really wanted to take care of the knees and make sure he was good before he goes in there tomorrow because one of the competitions or the events he's doing is actually walking with 700 pounds on his back. Yeah. Um, yep, what? <laughs> Doing a little bit of a yoke walk. So we gotta make sure this knee, quad, everything's firing appropriately and nice and strong for him so he feels good with that. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit of cupping. Um, you know, and I'm just showing you guys kind of briefly what we're doing with Jose. I'm gonna work on him a lot more here after the fact, but we're gonna get that on, how's that? That's okay. Too tight? No, you're good. So we're just gonna let that one sit there for a second. This one, we're gonna go a little bit less. Just get a little bit of suction. What I'm gonna do is glide this up and down on the quad. <laughs> that means it's working. <laughs> I laugh when I'm in pain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the whole purpose of this, right, we got a little bit of a suction with this cup, and by gliding this like this, we're actually picking up that fascia, lifting up off the muscle a little bit, and just helping create space in there so that fascia glides better across those muscles. Almost there, almost there. Good. We're still alive? Yeah, right? <laughs> 
you're still breathing. You're good. So now same thing, I'm just gonna go lighter with this one. You don't wanna put a lot of suction when you do this because as you can tell, so strong as Jose is, that still can get tender. Is that one okay or too light? That's too light. All right. I'm gonna take it too easy on you. No, see, that's why we go with the big cup first. Now this feels like nothing. Yeah. Get down around right at that knee, right where he was feeling that bump. There we go, that's a good one. So this is one way you can do this and then what we're gonna show you here in a second is we're actually gonna have Jose do some squats. So let's go ahead and hop up, Jose, let's do that. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of cupping while Jose's squatting here. So if you guys actually come close, you can hear Jose's knees clicking a little bit as he squats. There he goes. A little bit of a grind, right? Um, you know, so obviously Jose had an injury that caused that. So. Like I said, we just got to get them through, get them ready for this competition. So we're going to put these cups on here nice and tight. You know, because Jose likes pain. Mm. Obviously, we don't do it like this with all of our patients. Um, oh, that's, that's way too nice. Yeah. But when we're treating staff and we know Jose can handle this, he's done this a lot. Ooh. We're going to make sure that we push him through it here. So we're gonna watch him go ahead and do a couple squats, same thing. Now we just keep those cups there. We're still gonna hear the grinding a little bit, and that's okay. Less. It is less. There it is. Three more. Nice, last one. Perfect, all right, let those hang out there for a little bit. So we're gonna take care of Jose a little bit more here. If you guys have any questions, you wanna see how cupping or grassing can help you guys get better and get ready for an event or just feel better, give us a call here at Oak Brook Medical Group.